Hello folks, this is uh, 2024 May June paper 2 2 and the question number is 2. <clears throat> this question is concerned with the chapter we can say kinematics, we can see forces and so on. So it says a skydiver jumps from an aircraft at time t equal to 0, time equal to 0 and falls vertically downward. The variation with the t of her velocity v is shown in figure 2.1. So you can see the velocity here, start from 0. And ultimately, the, here we have the constant terminal velocity. The question A1. Using figure 2.1, state the terminal velocity of the skydiver. So, as I stated earlier, so from this time to this time, the velocity has been constant. So, this is the terminal velocity. And if I compare with the graph here, it will be, this is 40, this is 39. So, the terminal velocity should be equal to uh, 39 meter per second now by drawing a suitable line on figure 2.1 2.1 determine the acceleration of the skydiver at time t equal to 9.0 seconds so we have to find the acceleration of the skydiver at 9 seconds so from the graph i can say here if this is 5 this should be 6 7 8 9 so this is 9 second so it means I have to find the acceleration here, acceleration here. So for that purpose, I have to draw a tangent line, tangent by using a ruler. So this is my ruler and it has to be tangent right here, tangent, tangent, tangent. So let me see, I think it should be, it should be, uh, yeah, let me draw. So let me take this point and let me take this point. So this point would be, uh, so here it is uh, 19 here. It is, uh, I suppose it is 19, 19, 19.5. So middle it is 19.25. So this should be 19.25 uh, comma. It is vertical is 45, 45. And here it is x horizontal is a zero sorry zero vertical is 26.5 let us say it is 26.5.5 so my slope here will be equal to e is given by the slope and this is slope is equal to 45 minus 26.5 divided divided 19.25 minus 0 equal to so it should be, should be, should be uh, 45 minus 26.5 equal to divided 19.25. 19.25, 1, 1. Equal to, equal to, so it gives us the value 0 0.961 something something meter per second square. So I can write it as simply 0 0.96, 0 0.96 meter per second squared now okay the mass of the skydiver and her equipment is uh, 68 kgs mass the octus on the skydiver is negligible for the time being after reaching terminal velocity uh, it means that uh, after this time after this time this time the skydiver opens her parachute at time t1 so any time t1 a total drag force of 1800 newton x on x on the skydiver so right now we have got this is the drag force so effort drag is equal to 1800 newton determine the magnitude and acceleration of the uh, uh, direction of the acceleration of the skydiver so here what happens is the downward force is the weight of the skydiver and right now the drag force is this and let me say let me say the acceleration is occurring here so what i must have is force resultant should be equal to weight minus drag force equal to mass into a so this should give me a is equal to w minus fd by the mass so this gives us a is equal to w is mass into g 68 into 9.81 minus fd is 1800 and then our mass is again 68 
So that's equal to that's equal to equal to equal to uh, 68 into 9.81 minus 1800 equal to divided 68 equal to so the value is equal to minus 16.66 something 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 meter per second square per second square so this means it is minus 16.7 meter per second square so the assumption that uh, our acceleration is in downward direction is wrong so it is this a should be upward should be upward so direction upward direction upward and the value is 16.7 meter per second square now the parachute is fully open at time t2 so some other time at a later time t3 the skydiver reaches a constant velocity of 5.7 meter per second so let me remember that the initial constant velocity was this 39 and now it is 5.7 it is much more lesser value so describe and explain the variation with time of the magnitude of our acceleration between time t2 and t3 so what's happening here is the velocity has the speed has decreased speed has decreased because it has gone from uh, 39 to 5.7 meter per second so if it decreases the drag force fd decreases the drag force efd also will decrease so now what we have is this is drag force efd this is w so efd was greater w was smaller so if this decreases now our ef result tend upward 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 will also decrease because 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 f resultant upward is equal to f d minus w so f d has decreased w constant so f resultant decreases and if that is so then our a which should be upward acceleration let us say upward acceleration that's equal to f resultant by mass and it should also decrease also decrease now when it reaches the constant speed of this this a becomes zero as well in between uh, uh, the times t1 and t3 it decreases it decreases but when it is uh, beyond t3 beyond t3 the value of a will be zero decrease to zero now calculate the change in momentum of the sky between time t1 and t3 so again at t1 its velocity was uh, 39 meter per second the initial terminal velocity at t3 the velocity is equal to 5.7 5.7 meter per second so the change in momentum should be delta p is equal to mass into 39 minus mass into mass into 57 sorry 5.7 so equal to the mass is 68 so 68 common 39 minus 5.7 and this gives its value will be equal to 68 into 39 minus 5.7 equal to like this so this is equal to 2 2 6 4 6 4 uh, newton second or kg meter per second so when i write in uh, 3 sf it will be equal to 2 2 6 0 newton second so this is the change in momentum